Hi, hi, welcome to Chiquita's Crochet. I have, and I just finished, as you can tell, purple fingers. <laughs> well, with tabs of gold, but anyway. Um, my swap was to make an eight by eight and a half by eleven master board, then cut two tags out of them and whatever other ephemera comes out of it. So I'm gonna show you piece by piece what I did. Um, so almost all my pieces were made with um my jelly prints. Here's a few. Here's three of them. I used uh, some of this one, as you can see, it's right here, right there, and I used some of this black with uh, white and gray, uh, you can see that here, and here, so it, it just varied. I used a lot of this one because this one had a lot of gray, a uh, silver, and she likes silver. See that's there. Uh, you can see it there, and some tiny bits. So to give you an idea, what I used, um, was my scraps. I uh, did use book page uh, that I also jelly plated on, and most of these, except for this one, this page here. That's you can see that there and there are from roll offs which means we rolled off the excess paint on a paper or, or cardstock and <clears throat> um and you know it fills up with different colors so that is exactly what these pages are mostly yes well not really i think that's another project never mind scratch all that of being the roll offs. Okay, this one here, um, I was gonna do the double whale, but I just knit, I cut it in half so I can put it on this one too. So it's a tag, as you can see. I used um, two things that Miss Kathy gave me to do this, and I love mixed media, as you can see. Um, I used the um, Mica Mist. You can barely see the eyes. Oh, here. Mica Mist. Aspen Go. And then I used Stencil Butter. Uh, something Orchid. Of course, it's that color. I used that one to do all around. And then kind of spread it in also on the whale tails and on the rest of the outside of our projects and some of the butterflies. So that's tag number one. And you can see the mica. Oh, I love it. And when you move it around, it's so sparkly, so shiny. I use my words, the crumpled words that I make in on here. I made this. This oval is a punch out of the master board, so I put that there, and there you go. This white one, I believe, is um, handmade paper. I think, I believe it's from Emily, I'm not sure. But uh, that's the one that I jelly plated. Here's tag number two. You can see here the book page jelly printed on and all sparkly. The word inspire. The backs. I'm just going to add a little sticker that says who made it. Then this was extra, so I'm just sending that off with it. You can use it as whatever. This, as you can see, I did some punch outs also of butterflies. It, uh, I think I believe I did one, two, three. Uh, three punch outs. Um, this is a journaling tag. It's still 
as as you can see it there's the the mica and the stencil butter you know it's not it's not always this that you have to use it for stencil but or stenciling um i use it for everything um and that idea came from uh, laura vasquez laura i call her laura <laughs> but that is the journaling card and each piece has a word this one says possible and i kind of um, added with the marker and the antennas and the body so now that i showed you this one i can show you this one i was actually gonna throw this away but miss kathy goes i would <laughs> so what i did was i can hear it this here is also part of a little piece that I used on my master board, which is right there. You can barely see it. It's the vellum. This vellum here that I used on the master board. So I cut out, actually glued this here and then cut it out. And now she can use it on whatever she wants to. And I put the word bloom and all the shinies. So that's that. I don't know what it is, but she could put it as an embellishment to her journal or add it to something else like that as a pocket. So I showed you this one. Here's the pocket. I made the notch with the oval punch. Because I couldn't find my notch one. Because the notch one's like very deep. Or you can use it smaller. But I like the width of this pocket. Um, notch. And this one says bright. And look. It's like a little. <laughs> what's it called? A fence. I just noticed that. And there's a lot of mica powder. On, my, mica spray on this. And stencil butter. Then I have this other pocket. And this one says reflect. So I got two tags, a journaling card, two pockets, and whatever she wants to do with this. So I tried to do the colors that she said, which was purple, silver, and black. So as you can see, black and purple, definitely silver, eh. I kind of went a little more for the gold because that's what I had, like, uh, as a shiny mica powder mist thing. So, that's it. I hope you guys like it. Share, like, subscribe, and let me know if you like these. Bye.